I seem to have landed in the wrong place. Hmm. Oh, that looks soft. I think I can land there. Whee! That was fun! Let's do it again, Miss Tab. Well, hello there, Lenny. I didn't know you were along for the ride. This is one of my best friends, Lenny the Lightning Bug. Wow, this is a big bathroom. <laughs> it's a farm, Lenny. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Doodle Doo. <laughs> we gotta get you a snooze button. Is that the president? No, Lenny, that's the farmer. He's like the leader of the farm. But there are other leaders on the farm, too, like the rooster. He's always the first one up, so he makes sure everyone is awake. Miss <laughs> Cat, a motorcycle! Lenny, that's a sheepdog. Ah, uh, sheepdog! A sheepdog's job is to lead the sheep. Everything okay, Rachel? Yeah, just tired. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. So that sheepdog is leading by keeping the group together? That's right, Lenny. It's like if you were on the playground, a leader might lead you back to the classroom by walking in the front and showing everyone where to go. <gasps> I just heard thunder. Lenny, it was a horse. A horse! Look, Lenny, that baby horse is trying to stand for the first time. Come on, sweetie, you can do it. Follow me. One leg, now the other leg. Now the other, other leg. You're doing it. You see, that horse was leading by example. That's another kind of leading. It's like when you're showing a friend how to throw a ball or write their name. When I was little, I didn't know how to light up yet. The other bugs called me Lights Out Lenny. But then my friend showed me how to do it. And when I followed along, ta-da! <laughs> Very good, Lenny. Look, Miss Tab, books! Those are ducks, Lenny. Ducks! It looks like the mama duck is leading her babies into the pond. Oh, no, I think that baby duck is afraid to jump in the water. Come on, Edgar, jump in! What are you, chicken? <laughs> scaredy duck, scaredy duck, scaredy duck. They're not being very nice. Hey, everybody, stop being mean. We should cheer Edgar on. It's okay, Edgar. I know it's scary, but you can do it. I'll show you how. See? It's not so scary. Edgar! 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 He was following the other ducks. He was following the other ducks when he was swimming, but when he saw them being mean, he became a leader by showing them how to be kind. So we can be a leader and then a follower, and then a leader again? That's right. Sometimes it's good to follow, like when our teachers or grown-ups ask us to do something. And sometimes it's good to lead, just like the duck did. Oh, no, it's getting dark, and I won't be able to find my way back. Wait, I've been a follower all day. But maybe now I can be a leader with my light. That would be wonderful, Lenny. Thank you. Lead the way. OK, here we go. Today, we've seen that there are many different ways to be a good leader. Good man. Look where we are, Charm City. Imagination. Imagination! There's our friend Lenny the Lightning Bug. Well, hello there, Lenny. What are you doing? Just doing my two favorite things, playing tunes and being a bug. We're here in this big tube of toothpaste. It's a subway station, Lenny. A subway station! All aboard the Manners Express. Not just yet, Lenny. It's not good manners to push and shove. Let's wait our turn. Lenny, it's good manners to give your seat to someone who may need it more than you. Excuse me, would you like my seat? What? Thank you, you little cute bug, you. You're welcome, you nice lady, you. Very good, Lenny. Good manners are an important part of our day. But uh, what do I do if I don't know what good manners are? Asking what good manners are, like you just did, is also very good manners. After you, after you. Oh, after.
are you? You know what else is good manners? Thanking the train conductor for taking us safely to our destination. Thank you, Mr. Train Conductor. You're very welcome, little bug passenger. Look, a bouncy house! That's a Charmosaurus Rex. A Charmosaurus Rex! What's that? Long ago, big Charmosaurs walked the earth, and the Charmosaurus Rex was the biggest in all of the Manorzoic era. These students are quietly listening to their teacher. Being quiet when others are speaking is also good manners. So, good manners is being nice to other people? Exactly, but there are lots of ways to do that. Come on, let's keep exploring. You. Why, thank you for holding the door, Lenny. That was very polite. I was polite! <laughs> What's polite? Polite is another word for having good manners. Oh, cool! Or as we lightning bugs like to say, that's lit! The movie's starting. Let's go. Wow! A mailbox! <laughs> it's a movie theater, Lenny. A movie theater! I've seen this five times. I really like the part with the avocado tree. I like how it ends. Those two are talking very loud. Yeah. And they're kicking my chair. <laughs> the avocado tree is alive. This tab. I'm in the movies. I don't think those kids are being polite. Kicking a chair seems like bad manners. It is, Lily. <laughs> you can always ask them to stop. But ask nicely because that's good manners. Excuse me, kids. Can you please stop talking and kicking my chair? I really want to see this movie. Oh, we're sorry. I guess we weren't thinking about if we were bothering anybody else. Yeah, now that we know, we'll make sure to be more polite. Want some? Miss Tab, I don't like candy. How can I say no, but still be polite? Just say no thank you. Words like no thank you and please are all polite. Thanks, Miss Tab. No thank you, please. I would not like any candy. Now we can watch the movie. Thanks for the movie! Thanks for watching it. You're doing very well with your good manners, Lenny. Thank you, Miss Tab. I like being polite and having good manners.